Hi there, my name is Mark and I have a quick tech tip for all of you who are using VS Code to typeset your LaTeX files and who are using Check Tech and who are getting really annoying repeated warnings after you compile your code. So let me show you what I mean by this. So I'm just going to get into, let's see, let's, let's just choose the first one here, my Math2C notebook and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this is the document that, uh, this is actually looking nice. This is the document that I am currently currently working on. However, uh, as I'm working away after the compile, you see here that I get a lot of these repeated annoying error messages uh, given to me by Check Tech. In fact, this warning number three says you should enclose the previous parentheses with curly braces. Yeah, fair enough. But what is this actually complaining about? Let's go into the code. And here it is. So what it's saying is when I write a power, so I have some base raised to an exponent, it wants me to enclose that base in these additional curly braces. And now the error is gone and everybody's happy except for me. I do not feel that adding these curly braces is necessary. For this and I don't want that error to appear in my warnings. Well, it's not an error, it's a, it's a warning. But anyways, so, and this is not just me, it's not just me who feels this way. In fact, if we go over to Stack Exchange, we can see, uh, you know, why should I enclose the previous parenthesis with this curly brace? Well, the problem is that it's more syntax in your code and look at the difference here so they someone's actually gone ahead and shown with uh without and with these curly braces i really don't see a significant difference here other than if you do include these extra curly braces the um postfix uh, superscript exponent is you know it's just a little bit higher um so it's not a deal breaker in any way. And in fact, if you go down here, they also give one in terms of, you know, this common uh, binomial raise to this second power example. Again, nothing to get excited about. And if it's really not um, making that much of a difference and it's really not technically incorrect, I really don't see the advantage of putting in that extra uh, tech code. Now, in this second example, we can see that the, the difference actually is a lot easier to see. But in the second example, I would argue that these delimiters or these parentheses should have been scaled to match the argument of this uh, power here. Anyways, how do we fix it? Well, let's get into VS Code. And of course, I could go ahead and actually put the curly braces there to appease Check Tech. Or we can go in to settings. And I'm going to go directly to CH for CH and then K for Check. And that brings me right into my LaTeX extension where we have the Check Tech command line. And it's a command line command, Check Tech. Okay, there we go. And you can see here that we can. Uh, provide some uh, different flags or arguments uh, to uh, check tech and the one that I'm going to do is I want to suppress so I'm going to go dash n for suppress and the error code is three now when I click OK this is super fantastic because when I go back into my code here all the warnings are gone and when I go back into my warning list here they're all gone now, let's say, for example, uh, I've got a lot, what else do I have a lot of here? Uh, okay, this command might not be as intended. That might be a good one to keep anyways, but let's say I didn't want it there. I could go into my settings and let me just uh, bring this down a little bit. I could go into my settings and then I could add, let's suppress that uh, error code uh, or warning code 21. Fantastic, let's do it. And now when I go back in, and I go check, look at my warnings. Oh, that is much better. So all of those warnings are now taken care of as well. So nice little quick tip on how to sp suppress specific warnings flagged up by Check Tech when you are working with your tech documents. My name is Mark and thank you for watching.